Uh, if your listeners um, can check out a couple of studies online about how terahertz waves can tear apart the DNA. We've posted uh, pretty- major medical studies, mainline scientific publications saying this is deadly. And it's the body load of this. And these technicians running these machines, they're going to all wonder why their testicles rot off. Because those are outside the body and will pick up the most radiation. But they like testicular cancer. So it's what they want, it's what they get. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress. And they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation. The criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the republic get your copy of fall of the republic on dvd at infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at prisonplanet.tv hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone this is our last chance to not relive history as we're finishing off this agenda uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath americans at home have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches, and the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. If you owe the IRS money you can't pay, then listen carefully because you already know that the problem won't go away by itself. You can get help today from the leading tax expert in the country, Dan Pilla. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. The IRS isn't going to just forget about you. Right now, the IRS is hiring thousands of tax collectors to go after delinquent accounts just like yours. That's why you need to take action today, and I can help. I take a simple but proven approach to solving your tax debt problem. First, I stabilize collections so you don't have to worry about wage and bank levies. Next, I build a detailed plan to get your debt reduced to the fullest extent possible, sometimes even eliminated. Finally, I work with you every step of the way to get your problem solved once and for all. So call now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-346-6829. Dan Pilla will solve your tax problem guaranteed. He's helped thousands of people and he can help you too. Call us today at 800-346-6829. That's 800-34-NO-TAX. has conservatively bought through this office and read over 50 books by eugenicists and books about eugenicists. This is the dominant culture in the Western world for over 100 years. And that's why when you're in newsstands, you see articles about the people bomb and falling fertility and how the West is dying and how we're suddenly you know, sterile and sperm counts dropping and how wonderful it is. Like in this economist this month, uh, it says... Uh, Falling fertility, how the population problem is solving itself. Fertility is falling astonishingly fast, and that's bringing big benefits. Page 15. And then I turn to page 15, and I can read all about it. So you see their propaganda everywhere. Oh, the UN just said a month ago in Copenhagen, Copenhagen, they said, we want a world tax on children and a tax on every can of tomato sauce you buy, everything with its energy ration to shut off human activity to save the planet, 
which is just as fraudulent as their man-made global warming with record cold temperatures gripping the planet right now. You read Eco Science by the White House Science Czar and the previous science advisor to George Bush Sr., Paul L. Ehrlich, the, the current John P. Holdren for Obama, the same crew. Literally hundreds and hundreds of books they've read, more than 50 the last few years since we made Endgame that Aaron's been obsessed with reading. We're putting that knowledge into the new film we're working on. All of this going on, books by Bernard Shaw, George Bernard Shaw, where he endlessly said, we'll set up a world dictatorship. Anyone with below a 90 IQ will be executed. We need a painless gas, so it's humane. Killing you is humane. He says it's humane. Uh, he went and met with Hitler, Mussolini. He loved them. They were great. They were good. They were wonderful. And then after Hitler got exposed, that's why my... You know, my dad, the botany professor at UT, was like, I'm Jewish, and Hitler only wanted to kill certain groups. The truth is we have to reduce world population of all the bad people. Eugenics is good. See, and, and, and that's what I was taught in college. It was just, oh, you're here for a uh, history class. There's too many people. Whites are bad. And be a white professor. And I was like, what is this? World government's good? Then I'd go turn CNN on it and say, the Southern Poverty Law Center says there's dangerous people saying there's a world government. And I went in college, 20 years old, 19 years old, I went, well, wait a minute. They're telling me my guns are bad. White people are bad. World government's good. We need to reduce world population. But I turned CNN on or I turned C-SPAN on. They're having congressional hearings about dangerous crazies that believe the government's doing this. So, see, they propagandize but then demonize so that mainline Americans never get involved. It's a, it's a thing of not making it kosher or palatable to talk about this. Now, I just happened to cross uh, a video clip on YouTube last night, and I had already seen it here in the office in our research from the Soviet story, which is a powerful film. It won the Boston Film Festival, the Black Knights Film Festival, the Baltic Film Festival, the Sedona Film Festival, a uh, pretty big film. And it's the Soviet story, and it completely exposes how the Soviets and the Nazis were the same, worked for the same people, all run by leftist eugenicists who worshipped Hitler. I mean, I have to see Margaret Sanger all the time in Newsweek and Time as a Wonderful Woman. She was Time Magazine of the Year. She was the 100 most important women in the last century in 2000. And they never tell you, she said, blacks are subhuman weeds that must be killed. We'll use the Rockefeller Foundation to hire black leaders to do it. W.D.B. Du Bois, all of them, or E.B. Du Bois, all of them. And it just goes on and on and on. We got three clips. Some of it's really bad audio uh, because it was filmed, you know, 80 years ago or more with him worshiping Mussolini, uh, the worshiping of Hitler, the quotes that we've got out of his book about nerve gassing you. Now, this when you read the Wikipedia about him, this is the great liberal. Uh, he was uh, he's worshipped as one of the greatest liberals ever. Just two weeks ago, we had the video clip of MSNBC of uh, one of the supporters of George Bernard Shaw who promotes FEMA camps and mass arrest and Soviet re-education, and he's called the communist communist. And he saw Alinsky, who pledged his book to Lucifer, the, the original radical. He was a big supporter of Shaw. And here is... Chris Matthews saying this is his idol. But then Chris Matthews, if he was sitting here before me, <laughs> I guarantee you would laugh at me if I talked about communism. But see, he really knows. It's a joke. He, it's like I'm a child. He goes, that's off limits. That doesn't exist. Yes, I praise communist leaders, but it doesn't exist. Yes, there's a world government, but you are so stupid, you're not even allowed to resist it. So uh, we've got a lot of his quotes, got some video clips coming up, Aaron. But from your research of these people, what is the guiding principle of the left and right? What is their real secret re uh, religion? Not even really secret. They all publish it, but think we're so dumb we don't read it. And and who is George Bernard Shaw? George Bernard Shaw believes in eugenics as a religion. There's a quote with those words, just as Francis Galton said the same thing. And the shocking thing for me that I didn't know before I started working here was that all the stuff the Nazis do, did was from, you know, England and the United States through all these eugenicists before that. And it just fits right in with the whole socialism and collectivism thing. They want to control everything from birth to...